Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss the task. There are two data sets for party machine and healthy machine. On the basis of those data sets, classify the given data will be party machine or healthy machine. So, what will we do in this task? Uh, the data sets are given. Now, we have to make a model uh, which predict that the given data uh, is a party machine or is our healthy machine. So, this is related to data science project. So we have divided the so I divided it in seven steps. In step one, we process the given data set means uh, we see the null values dealing with columns. Uh, it is step two, concatenate data sets. Uh, so in pre-processing data sets, we also assign faulty and healthy data sets by classification zero or one so, to make separate easily. And in step three, we separate uh, feature selection. What is in feature selection? We decide which are our independent variables and which are our dependent variables. And in step four, we train model using the CNT classifier. And in step five, we get predictions. In step six, we check the accuracy of our model. And in step seven, we check the machine is faulty or healthy on given data. Means we input the data on which we train the model and check the uh, <coughs> machine is healthy or faulty uh, on behalf of training of our model. So these are our data sets. First of all, we are processing the data set. Open data set number one, party motor data. So now opening Jupyter notebook and make a new file. Name of file is uh, class. Now check, uh, now check the data set number 2. So here we can see the data set number 2. The name of column or both data set the same. So now go to our Jupyter notebook and code. Start our code. First of all, I have to import the data set. What is we use module pandas import it import pandas as we if data set number one is equal to df1 is equal to pd dot read csv and name of data set quality order data one and we have one to print out the data set so it is most important to see the extension of file so it is our excel file not csv file so we have to declare it with excel and also add dot excel as so here is our data set number one we check the shape of uh, data set is 10,100 rows and 5 columns and now we read our second data set pd dot read excel ld motor data underscore data yeah. so we can see that it is our data set number two it is also have 10,100 rows and five columns and uh, so we also see that first the name of columns both are same so we concatenate them for this we have to use so I stored both of the data sets in the variable df means data frame df is equal to pd dot concatenate means concatenate pass the list of both data sets df1 and df2 also say ignore comma ignore index true and to print data and df so we can send the so we can see that now it becomes double 
20,220 rows and 5 columns. So here both data set merge in one uh, DF uh, output of 0 and output of 1, both merge in one data frame. So we it is easily for us to classify both of them. So now we check is there any null value in our data set for this we have tried df dot na dot sum. So it shows that in time date, time temperature, current and output there is no null value. So we have to just perform our other function. So there is no need to drop na, fill na, etc. So this is our pre-processing step. So the step number three is feature selection. Here we step, uh, select our features. Uh, what will be in our independent variables and what will be in our dependent variables. So first of all, I make x is equal to uh, x is equal to temperature and the other is current. So what we want to do on the basis of temperature and current, we have to check the output. The it is a zero or one. Zero means faulty motor, and one means healthy motor. And in Y, we have to write output. So both of, all of these columns are in DF data frame. We have to add it. So X have temperature and current values and Y has output. On the basis of temperature and current, we examine the value of output or predict the value of out, output. For this, we have to train our model. And so we have to import library from sklearn dot model selection. Import Train. So it is small t train test split train test split and for classification we use the CNT classifier we also import it from SKLN dot tree import the C entry classifier and also to find out the accuracy of model we import accuracy score it will be found in matrices so form sklearn dot matrix import accuracy score It. and now we have to train our model according to x and y then apply the CNT classifier and get predictions on the training or test data uh, and then uh, check the accuracy score and in last we check the <coughs> output on the basis of given values of temperature and current so let's uh, do it let's do it so we have right x train x test y train y test is equal to calling the module train test split and pass parameters independent variable x dependent variable y test size of Train data is 0 0.2 means 20% of the whole data. Uh, that 100% uh, data set has 20,220 rows, and in it will be assumed 20% from data rows. So also uh, at the parameter of random state, uh, the random state is 22. So load it. So add comma there. 
I removed that underscore and again so it loads successfully and now we have to import uh, use the CNT classifier so I make object classifier is equal to the CNT classifier and so the whole the CNT classifier is loaded in our object classifier so now we fit the object classifier your fit pass parameters x train and y train so here we it so that the C entry is applied on our x train and y train the parameters we train using train test split so now we get predictions for this classifier dot predict the data in x test which we save in our x test to test the data before after training we test the data so pass it here x test see output write predictions so here we can see it gives the predictions so now what we do check the accuracy of the model so it means that on this index the machine uh, the motor is healthy on that index the motor is faulty so it continue like that so we check the accuracy of the model for this we have to write accuracy accuracy is equal to import module accuracy score pass parameters y test and predictions so why we write here y test and prediction it means that in y test the values we stored 20% from the whole data set and in predictions the predictions given by the model here it will match uh, all of that uh, values and give uh, by after calculating the accuracy it print out the accuracy of the model so for this we have to write, we have to write accuracy so you can see our model is 0.9987 means 99% accuracy score so our model is very good trained now we predict on the data we give and uh, the model will predict us the data we give uh, on the basis of that it is faulty or it is healthy so write input data is equal to pass value num give temperature value 23.4 and current value 45.6 then say calculate accuracy is equal to classifier dot predict input data print or calculate accuracy so it give us zero means on the basis of if i give 23.4 temperature and current value so if i give 23.4 temperature value and 45.6 current value our model predict the motor is faulty so check the machine is uh, how much accurate we assume take the value from model current value is 1.57 and temperature value is 41.7 
it is 41.7 and it is 1.57 so we can say it will give us healthy so we can see that how much accurate is our model so that is in this video uh, if you have any query ask me in comment section thank you for watching this video take care